SEO Minion. What is it, I hear you ask? Well, it's a free Chrome and Firefox extension that you can use to improve your on-page SEO. But I've been using it for something else, and I'm going to demonstrate exactly how I've been using it and how it will help you rank some of your content. So let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to my channel again. For those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. My name's Carl. I'm an affiliate marketer here in the UK. Basically, I share my journey. I'm a full-time affiliate marketer. I have a portfolio of nine websites and I make money online through my websites and through my YouTube channel. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and click that like button and the bell notification. That way, every time I bring a new video out, you're going to get notified. And don't forget to stay to the end of the video where I do YouTube channel shout outs. These are YouTube channels similar to mine, which are pretty new channels, but they have some great information on and it's really good to support each channel out. So the link will be in the description and I'll reveal it at the end of the video. So what is SEO Minion? So I've been using SEO Minion now for a number of weeks and I at first used it like everybody did, just analyze your page, have a look, and it was okay, there's a few things on there that's pretty good. It'll tell you things like H2 headings and meta descriptions and all that kind of on-page SEO stuff. But after playing around with it, I realized there's a lot more you can do with it. Maybe even the manufacturers have not kind of thought that this tool would be perfect for this. But it's great for looking at improving your existing content. It's also good for evaluating your competitors' content. And it's really good for winning more SERPs positions. So things like PAA, so which means people also asked, and also for FAQs. So I thought, what better way than to just show you? So I think if we head up to the computer, it'll be easier for me to actually demonstrate how I use it and some of the general basic functions of the tool as well. Okay, so here we are. First of all, I'm in the Chrome Web Store. It is also available for Firefox, but I've installed this on Chrome. And you can see here SEO Minion, and you can see here I've already installed it. Now, if you look on the right-hand side, there's a little icon there which tells you that the actual Chrome extension is installed and working. If you want to go learn more about the actual tool, you can go to seominion.com. And they have a very small kind of landing page that shows you a few of the features that's on there and answers a few questions you might have. Like I say, it is free. Then you can see here it's available on Chrome and on Firefox. So if we go over to my website, carlbrobin.com, I'll show you a few of the features on there. So here we are. So what we need to do is just activate the Chrome extension. Just click the little minion and you can see here some of the basic functionalities of it. So there's a few um, features on here. Analyze on page SEO, check broken links, see SERPs preview, etc. So really this tool is designed to get your on page SEO right. So make sure you've got no broken links. Make sure you are adding the correct internal links. Make sure your title, etc. is the right length. However, I don't believe this is the best use of this tool. And I'm going to give you a live demonstration in just a moment how I'm using it to improve my current content, but also how I use it to plan and write some of my new content. But for now, let me just show you a few basic features. So what I need to do is open an article. So let's just choose this one here, five email marketing tools for under $30. Switch on the Chrome extension, click analyze page. And it's going to tell me, look, that I've got three and a half thousand words. My title should be no more than 60 characters, which is fine. It's 58. My description should be no more than 150 characters and it isn't it's 148. And again, all that is good. If it's not, there'll be a little warning symbol next to anything that it thinks is a problem. And then you can show your headings here. Now, this is the section we are going to use in just a moment. And also it shows you um, images and any images that have not got alt text. And it can also show you how this article will look in places like Twitter and social media accounts. But for now, what we're going to be really using is these headings here. But let me just go back and show you a few other features. We've got highlight internal links. So you can highlight internal links and it will show you in green every single link that you've got which is internal. There you go. So these are good for helping your content rank in Google. Then we can switch it to external and you can see it again, it'll show you links that are external. 
If you've got any links coming in, you can see if they're follow, no follow, etc. You can also check for broken links. You can see here we have 17 valid links and no broken links. We've got two redirects on there. But again, there's no 404 errors or anything. So we're all good there. And then there are a few other things, broken link checker and SERPs preview. So you can see what this article is going to look like in the ranking positions. However, let's get to the juicy part of this tutorial because this is not how I use this tool. If we just go over to one of my other websites, uh, hutchandcage.com, I'll demonstrate on there how I'm using it. So here we are on Hutch and Cage. We're in an article called, Why Does My Rabbit Have Cold Ears? And I'm just going to copy that because I'll need that in a moment. And you can see here we have a decent length article with a few H2 headings and a conclusion. So what we're going to do is switch on SEO Minion. And you can see here that it's saying that it's 1300 words long, that my title is fine. It's saying my description, however, is too long. It's 157 characters instead of 150. But again, I'm not too concerned with that at the moment. It is something you would go fix. But... This is what I want to show you. So you can see all these headings here. So you can see here we have one H1 and a few H2 headings and then a H3 heading. Now these are all these H2 headings like this one here. So these are vital for picking up extra keywords and ranking in extra spots within the SERPs. Now what I mean by that is if we just head over to the SERPs and just search for why does my rabbit have cold ears, you can see here, you see people also ask, which is also known as PAA. Now these are questions that people are searching when they've looked at this topic here. So this is the topic they're interested in, but they may have also searched these terms as well. Now we all know these are pretty good to have within your article, but there are a lot of them. As you press one, more and more extends. You can see here, you keep on printing it and more questions appear. So there's a lot to figure out what you might need and what you might not need. Now this is where SEO Minion works really well. So let me start at the beginning what I do. So you need to open a spreadsheet. So I have a spreadsheet here and I do number one ranking article, number two ranking article and my website. So what you need to do is you need to go back to your website and you need to show all your headings. So click here, show all headings. And then you need to download. Once you click download, what happens is you get a CSV file. You can see here are all the headings that are in this article. So what we need to do, we need to copy those headings and we need to put them into our spreadsheet. So just paste them into there. And there we go. You can see there they are. Then what we need to do is we need to go back to the SERPs and we need to go to the number one ranking article. So you can see here, we are position one, two, three, fourth. So we're doing something that's not quite right. The other articles in front of us are maybe doing something a little bit better. So what I would do is I will go to the first article and again, open SEO Minion, click Analyze Page and Show Headings. What I then would do is download that and open that CSV file and again, copy and paste all that information onto our spreadsheet. And there we go. So then what you do is you look at the second ranking website and do the same with that. However, these are forums, so there's no point me showing you those. I'm just going to find another article that is very similar. So why does my rabbit have cold ears? So let's get this one. So go to the minion, click analyze on page, show all headings and download. So again, let's just grab all these, the ones that are relevant. So you can see there at the bottom that says leave a reply. So I'm not really bothered about that. Let's copy that and put it into our spreadsheet. Paste it in there. So now what you can see that the number one site here has so many more H2 headings. Now there are gonna be some irrelevant ones so we can start to delete them. So search this site, get rid of that, leave a comment, get rid of that the writer, um, related articles, that's fine. So how to prevent loss of appetite, diagnosis, home care, can get rid of that. Uh, considerations, we can get rid of that. So they look okay. So let's get rid of any on here that we don't need. That one, do the light blankets, do diet calls. Okay, so that's fine. And then we can get rid of on ours, that one. 
that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So you can see here, look how many more H2 headings and other opportunities they've got for ranking paragraphs from that one article compared to mine. So what I would then start to do is look at what's common. So uh, why does my rabbit have cold ears? Why does my rabbit have cold ears? So we've got that. So I don't need that one. Why are my rabbit's ears so cold? So why do, do they have it and why are they? So, okay, so you might want to grab that one and you might want to copy that one and add that in as a new paragraph. So then what I do is if it's a new paragraph, I usually make it green and then I know it needs to be written. So then continue to have a look. Are rabbit's ears supposed to be cold? So again, I don't think I've got that. Oh yeah, should my rabbit's ears be cold? So I don't need that one. When are cold rabbit ears a cause for concern? Have I got that? No, I haven't. So again, that's another perfect example. So we'll have that. Turn it green because it needs to be written. And you continue doing that through each one. So this one again might have something that this one has not got. So is 30 degrees too cold for rabbits? So we're on about rabbits having cold ears. Is it the temperature? So again, that might be a good one to have in the article. So we'd put that there. So when you've got all the ones that you need, obviously you're just gonna copy and paste the ones that you've now found add them into your article and use them to extend the article and hopefully rank for more terms. Now, if we go back to the SERP index, you can see here that these people also ask uh, some of the questions that we've just found. So as you extend these, all the questions are there. So by adding all those extra subheadings and extra H2 and H3, hopefully you will rank for some of these positions here. Now, there is also another cool little trick. So when you install the plugin, you'll see here that um, it installs this little sidebar here. Now, what you can do is, there's quite a lot of things you can do with this, but what I use this for, again, is I go all the way down to people also ask. So that's these up here. That's these questions here. But like I say, you can't see them all without expanding them and expanding them and expanding them. But with this, you can simply click that you want the top 10 people also ask suggestions. Then you can download that again to your spreadsheet. And these might be questions that you've not noticed that are related to this topic. So let's grab the top 20 suggestions and click download and click go. As you can see, it's opening up all these questions for us and it's going to download them into a CSV file. So you can see here, this is the downloaded CSV file and you can see here are all the PAAs, so the relevant topics that was also searched by others, are listed here in this spreadsheet. You can also, it shows you the actual answers. So you might think that, uh, let's say question number four, what are the signs of a dying rabbit? You might think this answer is really, really good, or you might think it's not very good and you can improve on it. It also shows you the website. So you can see these are all the titles. That, so it might also give you an idea for creating better titles. So it's a great way of adding at least another five or six H2 headings within each article. And then you can also use it for adding some FAQs at the bottom. So all these questions here we know are searched by people who are interested in this topic. So maybe you can add a really good FAQ at the bottom of your page using all these suggestions here. So one last thing I want to show you is this SERPs location checker versus. So what you can do if you click that, you can see the bottom right hand corner and the left hand corner, you can choose two different countries to have a look at the SERP. So you can see where your keyword or article is in both SERP index at the same time. So let's put that article in we were just looking at, why does my rabbit have cold ears? Click the USA on the left hand side and click the United Kingdom on the right hand side. Now if we click search, you can see here, that as we just saw a moment ago, rabbit care tips are at number one and they've won the snippet. And also on the right hand side, you can see they also are ranking in the UK again. Now, if you look down the list in the US, it's saying now that we are Hutch and Cage is ranking number three, but the same article in the UK is ranking fourth. So you can see your comparisons here and you can see how well a website is doing in one country 
versus another one. So you see here, there's another one there. Hutch Advice is number nine in the US, but number 10 in the UK. So it's a cool little feature. You can check different countries. So let's have a look at Canada and versus that. So this is US versus Canada. And you can see again, we're still in position three in the US, but in Canada, we are at position four. So you can see the difference here. Now, obviously you can do this in Google anyway, you can change your location, but it is a fun little thing. Uh, I've had a play around with it and it's good to see what variations there are. So if you target in the US rather than UK, but yet you're ranking higher in the UK, you might want to change maybe the word you do your grammar or your vocabulary in your articles to give the impression and let Google know you're really targeting a US audience. So possibly it could be used for that. But I thought it was a cool little tool that's on there. So there you go, a brief look at SEO Minion. Like I say, it is a free Chrome extension at the moment. However, Keywords Everywhere was also a free Chrome extension until it got really popular and then it became a paid tool. So I have no doubt SEO Minion will probably follow in the same footsteps. If it becomes very popular and everyone starts using it and downloading it, then I'm sure there'll be a paid version coming out. And next, my YouTube channel shout out for this week is Dot Fix. Stuart is a friend of mine who has a great YouTube channel. And in fact, you have to take a look at the video. I will leave a link up on the screen and I'll also put in the description of a funny video he did about me. Very tongue in cheek and very cheeky of him, I must admit, but it was a fantastic video. It must have took a lot of editing to do. So he's very, very good at kind of humorous affiliate marketing videos. It is such a good channel to follow. So go over and check him out, .fix, link is in the description. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on SEO Minion. For now, that's it. I will see you in the next video.